Hi, Dr. Alfred Marcus here with Marcus Integrative Dental. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about children, ideal growth and development. What kinds of things might you be seeing? And is there anything you can do in a growing, developing child that's going to help them later on in life? And the answer is an absolute positive yes. So when you look at a child, they're, they're growing, their face is growing, developing. Uh, Benji is actually four years old and by the time he's five years old, probably about 40 to 50% of his facial growth will be done. Uh, so it's a, it's a critical time. And one of the things that we don't recognize and we don't understand, Benji, can we, can we smile and can we show them your teeth? So if you look at Benji's teeth, he's got a lot of little spaces in between. Is that a good thing? It's an absolute good thing. You don't want to see baby teeth together. You want to see spaces. And spaces is something that Mother Nature provides him with as he grows to allow and compensate for the bigger teeth that come in. Now, what happens and what's critical in a child is the way their lips are together. I like to call this the BLT. Three things, it's not a sandwich. BLT is for, I want my kids breathing through their nose. I want their lips together. And I want the tongue on the roof of the mouth, not on the bottom, on the roof of the mouth. And we'll talk a little bit about this in a little bit, why that's so important. Uh, but it is critical in growth and development and actually in health of our children. So let's start with the B. Breathe through the nose, why? Why do you breathe through your nose? Because you're filtering the air, you're cleaning the air, you're moisturizing the air, you're uh, removing harmful bacteria. We have actually uh, antiseptics, if you will, in our nose that'll get rid of a lot of the bugs that are up in there. So breathing through the nose is critical. Uh, if you look at your child and you see his lips are separate, mouth is open, encourage him to bring his lips together. What about the L? L, L is lips together. As long as your lips are together, you will breathe through your nose. And as you breathe more and more through your nose, your nose will open. If you separate your lips, it doesn't matter how hard you try, you're still gonna be breathing through your mouth. So keep your lips together. Your tongue then, tongue is a T, up on the roof of the mouth. The tongue should be up there. That's where it should park when it's up there. You don't realize, but you're swallowing close to 2,000 times a day. But it's that swallow action that actually expands and develops the upper arch. I like to call it God's orthodontic appliance. So those are just some tips. Uh, and we want ideal growth and development because it is that growth and development that affects your child throughout his lifetime. Dr. Alfred Marcus, Marcus Integrative Dental Care of El Paso. If you want any more information on this, come on in, talk to us, uh, and we'd be happy to answer any other questions you have. Thank you.